Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you will find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of unboxing video and I'll be unboxing the RAV Power All-in-One File Hub which is right here. Uh, this is not a paid or affiliated uh, review. Uh, all my reviews are non-affiliated, unbiased and honest. And I do not provide any affiliated link. So what you are going to get is totally honest and unbiased opinion. Now this is a multiple, uh, multifunctional product all in one. So let's take a look at the cover. And uh, you can see that uh, this is all in one file hub and wireless router, wireless media sharing and 6700 mAh external battery. So it comes in two different colors, black and white. I picked a white color, and the model number of this is RPWD03. And on the side of the packet package, it just gives you the picture of the file hub, which is there's one uh, Ethernet port and then one USB port, and then there's one SD card slot and uh, there's not much on other side so here it just tells you that wireless router wireless media and all-in-one hub and here just the website now I have purchased a wrap power products before and uh, they actually make very good quality products and I never had any issues or problem with them uh, this is a multi product multifunctional or multi-purpose product in one so what it does that uh, let's say you're outside and you can just take any wireless signal and if you just pass that wireless uh, Wi-Fi signal through this device then it's going to create a one its own wireless signal which is only for you so the reason you want to do that uh, that uh, because if you are using outside Wi-Fi then it may not be safe because you know the hackers can get easily access to your devices uh, because they're already on the network so this is giving you much more uh, secure uh, Wi-Fi than just using the uh, public Wi-Fi uh, directly that's one option and then you can also uh, work this as a router by entering the uh, Ethernet uh, cable so some of the hotels they don't give you Wi-Fi but they do give you just like you know cable internet uh, or an ethernet cable so if you enter that in the ethernet uh, slot then it creates a wi-fi signal and you can use that signal and i believe it, it gives you access for up to five devices so either like you know you're using wireless uh, wi-fi or wired uh, signal internet from the hotel or from outside then you can have uh, five uh, different devices uh, to share and then also you can use this as a media sharing device so you can just like you know broadcast your own uh, media for example video or music uh, using this small device but i didn't buy it for these purposes uh, it has another function which is uh, you can use this to transfer files or as a hub from your uh, micro sd or sd card to your portable hard drive in general, uh, if you need to do that, let's see if you're traveling and you want to back up your uh, micro SD card or uh, SD uh, card, then you'd require a laptop uh, or another device to you know pass those uh, uh, use as a hub to back it up on your uh, portable hard drive. But with this device, you don't need to keep your laptop or any computer. You can just use this device to back up, back up your SD cards or micro SD cards to your portable hard drive. So that's the purpose. Uh, that's my purpose of buying this one. And then you know because it's giving you the uh, battery, uh, external battery or power bank, and then wireless router. I'll be using for those as well because I'd be much more comfortable using my own Wi-Fi signal rather than public signal. So let's do the unboxing, and then I'll you know share some more uh, settings and. Uh, features from the actual product so for now we'll just uh, take it out and see how it looks so I just removed the cover and I'll keep it here for now and then we have another box and then let's just uh, open up uh, this 
box. It looks like it's going to come out like this. And if I push it up, then we have our device right here. Let's take it out. Okay, so I'll just leave this here for now and let's see what's inside the box. Okay, so they're giving a uh, USB cable uh, and then looks like there's a small brochure and the box is empty. So I'll just leave the box here. So in this small brochure, it just, you know, explains how everything works. I'll just quickly uh, show you how it looks like. And if I open it up, okay. So it looks like they gave you a very detailed uh, illustrations and explanation how this thing work. And I'm not going to go over all of these, but what I'll do uh, once I go through charge the device, then. I'll show you some of the uh, some of the features which I find you know useful or which it's good to share. So let's look at this one here. So here is the RAF Power File Hub. It's hard to believe how tiny this one is. This is a really small product and you can see that there's the Wi-Fi uh, signal uh, dots here so when your Wi-Fi is working uh, it sh this should be on and then here's the uh, micro USB port and then we have the SD clock card slot so you can insert SD card directly and if you have a micro SD card then you're gonna have to use just mic uh, micro SD or SD adapter and then here we have the output for these uh, let's uh, see how we open this so it looks like to open it you have to just put insert your finger or your nail a little bit in there and then push it up it looks like a little bit difficult to open but I guess that's the way they made it okay so when you open it then like you have the internet uh, cable uh, ethernet cable uh, port and then you have the USB port just to show you how small this is I'm going to uh, give you a comparison of my two other uh, power bank so this is my 1675 mAh RAF power power bank and this is my this one looks like 6700 RAF power power bank and then I have another one which is right here and this one is 5000 mAh okay so let's compare with the 1675 yeah 16750 and if you take a look here you'll see that it's much smaller this is kind of heavy and this is very light and then so this is 16750 and right here you can see this is how small and then if you compare it with the 5000 uh, it looks like very almost the same weight and if you put it in here it's even smaller than the 5000 uh, power bank and then if you look at the 6751 another wrap power then it looks like very close to uh, this one so this is surprising that you know they fit in so many things in this tiny device so I'll just charge this and then uh, I'll go to the next section of the video. Thank you. Hello everyone. Right now I'll show you how to connect your File Hub Plus uh, RAF power to your existing internet or to the internet you'd like to rebroadcast as a RAF power internet. So the first thing you're going to do just uh, uh, turn this on by pressing it for a few seconds. So one, two, three. And then you'll see these lights are showing up and then just wait for a few seconds you'll see a steady blue sign uh, internet sign right here Wi-Fi sign and then this will change to flashing blue so that means it's just connecting to uh, trying to connect to the it's looking for the app on the phone so what I'll do we'll open the file hub plus app and then if you go to the 
uh, system. So you can actually uh, see a message here that you know cannot connect to Viola Plus. Press OK. So we're going to press OK. And from here, it's connecting to the File Hub Plus device right here. Now, if uh, this is your first time, it's going to ask you to enter password and login ID. And uh, if you do that, so this is actually for the password for the app, not for the internet. So we'll enter the password. And then the device is offline. Please check the device and network connection. We'll just hit OK and try it again. Sometimes it gives you this error message. Uh, okay, so I entered the password and then it's connecting to the file hub. So it's just connected. Now I'll just close this screen and restart the file hub app again. Then we'll go to the setting. So right now let's go to setting and then you go to file hub setting and then you go to internet settings. So if you go that, uh, do that, it will show all the available network. There can be free network or a password protected network. So mine is Internet Entrepreneur. I see there is a sign here. So just uh, hit on here, click on here. And it could be that it's already took the connection because I went through this process again. So yeah, look like it looks like it's already broadcasting the internet because it's not letting me uh, you know hit the button but let's say if this is the first time then you hit uh, press here and then you have to enter the password for your for that network if it's a free uh, network then you don't need to uh, enter the password and then if you look here you'll see that the blue light is changed to green light so that means that this is this device is actually broadcasting the RAF power internet right now so if I go back to here, then let's take a look. Uh, what is my internet right now? So if you look at here, see it says File Hub Plus Internet, and this is a live internet. So basically, now this phone is connected to not to my own internet, uh, which is coming from the router, but it's connected to the internet, which is being broadcasted by this device and just to show you web page and if we open up a new tab then if you search for let's say ameddon.com and if you hit there then see this site this internet is working right now but it's not the phone or the my own internet this is the file hub plus internet now, you can actually do the same settings and everything uh, without going to the app. So let's say you just need to type in a web so new tab and if you go here, then it starts with 10, 10, 10, 2, 5, 4. So enter. Okay, so 10.10.10.254. So if you enter this, uh, web address then this can connect to the raw power too so there's the admin there's the user password and let me just enter the password because i made it pass password protected so, okay so once i entered the password you can see that you have the same screen like on the app uh, just here and then you can do the same thing from here it a network settings and internet and everything so you can access man control the controller manage the device by going to the website too instead of uh, using the app so you have both options so that's how you connect it to the internet then uh, this has other functionality too which i told you before that you can change uh, actually uh, back up your car micro sd or sd cards without using another computer laptop uh, which i might do another video on that but in terms of connecting the internet, that's all. So if you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because there will be more videos coming up. So I'll see you shortly. Thank you.